Hello everyone, welcome to the very first video of my new channel, I'm glad to have you here. Finally decided to try myself out in the video tutorial game and I hope you will like my work. Of course, if you do like it, be sure to actually like the video and subscribe to support me and follow my future content as well. So in this video, we will be covering the installation process for Node.js on your Windows machine. And I will actually show you two approaches of installing Node.js. The first approach is the standard way where we download the official installer from their homepage, which is nodejs.org. As you can see me type it here on the screen. So from here, you can click the left button to download the LTS or the long-term support version of Node.js for your Windows operating system. After the download finishes, we can open the file to start the installation process. From the setup screen here, you can just click next. Make sure to carefully read the license agreement terms. I already did, so I'll just click the I accept checkbox and click next again. You can leave the default installation folder for Node.js here and click next again. Also, you can leave everything as default here and again click next. If you want, you can install tools for native modules at this point if you're familiar with that. If not, you can skip this step and then if there's any need in the future you can install them at a later point. So you can click next again here. Then finally, we are ready to start the installation process of Node.js. So you can just click the install button and when the user account control pop-up appears, you can just click yes to start the process. Now we can just wait for it to finish. After that's done, you can just click the finish button and the installation process will be over. We can also, of course, close this browser window as well. And that's basically it. Node.js is now installed on your computer and you can run, for example, JS files from the command line. To test things out, you can go to your system terminal like PowerShell in Windows. You can just click the start button, type PowerShell and then open it up from this screen here. Then we can just resize the window. From the command line, we can type the node-v command to check the node version installed on our system. So, if it reports the expected version here, it means that we indeed installed Node.js successfully in our machines. We can then type the node command to actually enter the node shell here. From there, you can type any, for example, JS valid syntax to actually test it out. We can also console log, for example, something. And as we can see, it works properly. Okay, now I will show you the second approach of installing Node.js using NVM, which stands for Node Version Manager. So, NVM is a version manager tool that enables us to easily install, update, manage, and change our Node.js version via the command line. To download it from the internet, we can again start our browser we can go to google.com and then type nvm windows in the search box. There you can click the first link, so this github.com Cory Butler nvm dash windows page. Then you can scroll down the page to actually find the download links. Um, so yes, yeah, so we want to click the download the latest installer from the releases link here. Go down this page as well, and find the nvm-setup zip file and click to download it. After that's done, click the downloaded zip file. Then you can find the installer here. You can double click it from there and it should start the installation process. When the user account control appears again, you can click yes to continue. Of course, make sure to read the agreement terms then click the I accept radio box here, click the next button. You can also leave the default installation location here and click next again. Since we installed Node.js at this location, you can leave this as well and click the next button again. Then finally click the install button here to start the process. The installer will then detect that we already had a Node.js version installed before. So we want to click yes to allow NVM to control this version as well. 
After the installation process finishes, of course, we can click the finish button to finalize the process. We can then close out these windows as well. Then we can again open PowerShell. You can click the start button here, type PowerShell, and then click the result that appears here. At this point, you will have access to the NVM command. You can type it here, press enter. It will show you all the available options that you can use with the NVM command. You can also read about these commands in the documentation page on GitHub that we visited just earlier. For example, we can type NVM and space list and it will list the installed versions of Node.js on our machine. So currently we only have this long-term support 12.16.2 version which may be higher at the time that you're watching this video as well. If you ever need to update Node on your computer you can do it via NVM by using the NVM install command. Then you can specify the exact version that you want to install on your machine. Or you can type latest to actually install the latest version available of Node.js. So this will actually install the non-LTS version on our computer, which is currently 14.0.0. So it will take some time to get installed, but you can wait until the process finishes, and then we will see how we can switch between the versions. Okay, now after it's finally installed, you can type NVM list again. And then you will see both versions. So we will see the LTS one that we installed earlier. And then you will see the latest 14.0.0 version as well. If you want to change versions, you can use the NVM use command. And then specify the version that you want to change to. Another user account control uh, dialog will pop up. You can click yes. And you can click yes again. And then you will switch to the version 14. And if you type NVM list again you will see that it's currently using the version 14 of Node.js on your computer. So there are other commands that you can also use with NVM and I would recommend reading their documentation to experiment with it further. So if you type node-v again you will see that the version 14 is used and if you type node you will enter the shell for the node version 14 here. So that's finally it for this tutorial. I kind of feel the weight lifted off my chest and I'm happy to get a chance to share this tutorial with you. Again, please like the video and subscribe to my channel because your support will help me a lot, especially now that I'm just starting. So take care and I'll see you in another video.